Thank you so much, guys. Uh, we are now joined in this chilly little studio with two of our friends from Vitality. We've got Dan Madagascar and Alex McChicken. How you doing, guys? Great, great. Thanks, you. Is that, is that how you pronounce uh, his name? Yeah, Kenda. Kenda, Kenda. Yeah, yeah we're there, we're there. Yeah. 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 Nice, man. Uh, how, how are you feeling uh, about this group? It's the group of death. It's the, it's the one with Astralis. I mean, at least you've got complexity. You're going to pick on complexity? Uh, ne I, I would never say that. We don't know what to expect from them. So, no, no. Never going to say that. Yeah, yeah. I think complexity are going to surprise at least one team this week. So, we'll see. Just hopefully it's not you guys, yeah? yeah. Do, you guys ever, do you guys have any experience playing versus them? Well, uh, be a little bit before December in practice, but that's it. So we don't know much about them. Mm. Speaking of surprises as well, I mean, you guys must have been watching last week. What are your thoughts of FaZe so far this year? I mean, they played three games and they smashed everyone. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, hopefully they'll play well like that all season. Um, be another good team to play against in, in tournaments, but we'll have to see. Well, it's always the same with uh, FaZe, I guess. Uh, when they punch individually. It's pretty tough to play against, and that's what happened last week, I guess. So yeah, they've been on point. I don't know if they've been on point tactically, but individually at least they were like super strong. We've been listening into uh, team comms, and we heard like you know Nico's calling apparently has been has been very good. Um, and we, we're touching on phase. Obviously, this is a lot about you. So let's turn it over to your guys's calling and stuff. Has have you boot camped in between last year and this year? Yes, uh, to prepare the year, we started by a 10 days bootcamp instantly to just uh, come back to with a fresh mind and just uh, <coughs> prepare the year on the best way as we finished the year, the last year pretty well. So yeah, we just bootcamp to, to just, yeah, coming back on the basics and just play as good as possible to prepare for to, to 2020 uh, events. Mm. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What uh, any, anything, anything stopping Zaiwu from being uh, best player of 2020 as well? I don't think so. Um, I think he's the best player that's ever played the game, and I think us. Damn, just high be praise. The same and yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I will. I, I agree with Alex, obviously, and I'm not explain why. But the guy is in the system. He can do. He can do whatever he wants, even if he's he has that freedom, but limited freedom, and he's still really good to be honest like he does track so much he just so good with the ak so good with the hope he can do whatever he sometimes even entry fragging something we didn't see from other really bigger stars mm -hmm. so yeah he does everything so if he, s he stays uh, at this level i can't see anyone pe being better than him to uh, draw another comparison to FaZe, I think like Brokey was a big standout player last weekend. And, and one of the things that we like to say about him is he's very cool, he's very collected, like he's calm in the server all the time. Would you say that as well about Zaiwu? Do you think he has that in his gameplay? Uh, first off, I want to start by stating that I told them that Brokey should have been orping straight away in FaZe. <laughs> oh, that was your idea? Oh yeah, that's what I said when he was in the team. I was thinking like, he's going to be orping. <laughs> because he played once against him in FPL and he, was, he killed him no, no, once no, no, with you. He's impossible to kill. No, 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 no. I said that Brokey should be orping. And now he is, and now they look amazing. So thank you for finding this thing. So you get like, what do you get? 10%, 20% no, no, of no, prize winnings? Um, but yeah, no, no. I think he, as I was, I think he's just, everything's natural for him. He's just like really calm, really just like, he just makes decisions really quickly and doesn't really think about it. I think it's just that he naturally gets the right answer every time. So hey, You guys are a French team, but you've got uh, an Englishman here. So does that bring you an advantage? You're going to be in a London studio. Uh, when's the last time you walked into uh, an English crowd? Uh, yeah. Uh, I think the last time was ECS, where we won. So right. that, yeah, that was great. But a coincidence? Yeah, having having a British is not easy every day, to be honest. Uh, the their sarcasm and all the thing is not easy to, to handle. They but might leave the uh, continent at any time, right? Yeah, it's been a defense. year. I, I know the guy for a few years, and I've been playing with him for a year. So, yeah, it's we, you, you're just learning to to live with those people, and then it's getting better. Oh my God! Yeah. How do you, do you feel attacked right now? <laughs> racist. I mean, the studio's <laughs> full of English people, so I don't think you're getting out of here alive. <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. worry. I, I think this one's coming home for you guys. Um, one, 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 one final question uh, we've been asking everyone today: How much of CS? You're an entry fragger, okay? So how much CS? It, for how much is aim in CS for you? When, uh, if you gave it a percentage out of a hundred, how much of CS would you say is aim? Like from an individual you standpoint, it could be thirty to forty percent. Just for uh, in in on it at CS as a game, how much do you care think about it when it comes to you as a player on your team? I would say 
30, 40? Yeah, it'd be like 40, yeah, yeah. 40. 40% because you don't like I think Flash has said it recently you don't need to be like really good at skill wise if you can outmaneuver people so yeah mm -hmm. it just depends what kind of what role you're playing and stuff I agree but when you're a true fragger better have good name or it's gonna be tough for you yeah I that's agree tough life of entry fragger yeah. mm. it's a lot rough of deaths one. rough one alright well thank you so much for the interview guys and uh, we'll, we'll shoot it back to the desk